Uh, it was the faithfulness of God to steward a life that's been abandoned to Him. Over and over again, when we looked at how the two of you met, I mean, it legitimately could be made into a movie. It's that incredible and unique, and uh, the fabric of where you were and how you were and when God brought you together and the things that led up to it were astounding. But to me, the overarching uh, theme of the whole thing was two people that had completely trusted and abandoned their life to God and God's faithfulness to steward not only His plans through your life, but also your desires in your heart at the same time. That He was not just using your life, He was also listening to the cries of your heart. Kelsey, my love, I choose you. You're my best friend. I've grown in love with you over this past year, and I'm honored to get the opportunity to continue pursuing you into unconditional love. I promise to be honest even when it hurts, and to repent and ask for forgiveness quickly when it's necessary. I promise to be yours and only yours, and to choose you every day to serve you and to cherish you. I promise to trust you and to continue to build a strong foundation of trust for our family. I promise to pursue the adventure to shake off complacency and let joy and laughter fill our life together. to love you with all my heart, all my soul, all my mind, and all my strength. Because love is a choice. It's not a feeling, but it's an action. It's no longer me and you separate, but us unified as one. No matter what, I vow to love you because of who you are, not by how our culture measures success and not by what you can do for me, but for the truest tailor that you are. I've told you I love you a hundred times before, but what I've been waiting to say is this, Taylor Brooks, I am in love with you.